So good afternoon, uh, welcome to IBC. Uh, my name's Sam Barth and I'm product specialist uh, for the WPP section of Solid State Logic. So we'd like to run you through today uh, a brief introduction to Nucleus. So Nucleus is designed as the complete solution for the hardcore in the box producer. So someone whose world centers around multiple projects, recall, fast workflow and creative inspiration. It provides you with all the tools you need to turn your computer into a hands-on mixing machine and without letting technology get in the way of ideas. And the nice thing about it is you can simply add a laptop and have a fully mobile SSL rig. So the Nucleus, um, I think we should start with connectivity. Um, it connects uh, to your computer via Ethernet over IP MIDI and also via USB. So we've got a USB sound card and also a USB keyboard emulator. Now, sound card is four channel, so uh, we've got two analog and two digital. And on the front end, we've got two super analog microphone preamps. So these are the same preamps as you find in Duality and AWS. And as you'd expect, you've got 48 volts, pad, high Z, 80 hertz, and insert point as well. Now, you'll notice below we have a mix down button and this moves the insert point over your master mix bus so you can use the insert when mixing down and doing your final mix. Below that, we have the monitor level, so super analog monitoring section, also with an external input. We've got a wet and dry blend for headphone mixes, so we can do zero latency monitoring, and also the headphone level. Now, the smart thing about Nucleus as well is the fact that we can speak to three doors um, uh, simultaneously. So Huey, MCU protocols. And if I switch to, to, to Pro Tools, at the click of a button, we bring across and move to Pro Tools on the screen. So we're looking down the console here. We've got the transport section with our jog wheel. And we've also got the 16 faders. Now, the heart of Nucleus is the fact that it is the control surface. And if we quickly go into our mixer, you can see here we've got our levels. And if we go into pans, we've got our pans as well. And these are all selectable from here. Now, we've got 16 faders and 16 V pots, and also some hot keys up the top. So, firstly, we're on uh, our kick channel here, and if we bank across, we can see kick. We can select here our inputs and outputs at the click of a button. So we can move that and change that to output 2930, for example, at the click of a button on the screen. Then, same for sends. Go into our sends menu and select destination we can then choose where that destination is going and then set the level on screen. Again, no need for a mouse, all hands on. Pans and levels are set and then EQ. So if we bring up our channel strip EQ on here, the click of a button again, we can see all of our parameters get mapped across the scribble strips. So as you can see, we can edit and manipulate these. And if we press the flip button, we can bring them down to the faders. Nice and simple and hands-on mixing. Now, again, we can do the same with plugins. So if we go into plugins here on this channel, we can bring up a number of different plugins. And at the click of a button, again, bring that plugin back up. Nice and simple and the parameters get mapped across the Nucleus again. <coughs> One of the nice things about the Nucleus is it's customizable to your way you work. So if I go back to my mixer screen and we close this down, move back to my mixer, I've created some presets for myself for the way I work. So firstly, we've got mini mixer I can pull up and my editor window and I can move between my primary, a range screen and my large mixer. Now, one of the nice things that I like to do on here is create markers and there's a very quick and simple way of doing that with some key commands that I have programmed. 
so I can create a mark for my intro, for my verse, for the chorus at the click of a button. I can then loop those markers and move between them, which is very useful, especially when wanting to drop in with an artist who's overdubbing. Very quick and simple. If we then go across, I've selected some group names. So I can choose drums, guitars, rhythm, vox, and a really nice way of doing this is if I create some new tracks. Now, I work a lot with audio, so the way I like to do things is create new tracks. So I'm going to create eight new audio tracks. I might want to put those in a bus. If I then select all those audio tracks, there's a sort of a crippling key command in Logic that I've assigned um, to one of the VPOTs, which is a stack section. We can create those, press enter, and we've automatically created a bus with those tracks inside it. Very powerful, very quick. If I then select the top, this is where the group names come in. I can name the group, and if I go into my second user menu and my drum section, I can go kick, I can go snare, and so on. Very quick and very easy to set up. Very powerful and easy to use. If you go on the guess, uh, looking across the top again, we've got automation and how we can use that. So I'll show you that quickly as well. We've got an automation button in the centre here. We can put the tracks and choose to automate them. So for simplicity and ease of use, let's go to our mixer. We place this into right. We can go back to the beginning of the track. Press play, and we watch here. We're now writing automation. Now we see, automatically gone into touch mode, and the automation is played back. So, as I said, this is designed as sort of an all-in-one solution um, for sort of the hardcore in the box producer. So. The last thing to mention is the fact it also comes with two Duendo plugins. It comes with the channel strip and the bus compressor. So that's an overview of the Nucleus and some of its features. We can go more in depth as well. But thank you for watching today. And if you've got any questions, please either come to the Solid State um, Logic website or you know fire us a line. Thank you very much.